guys, so today I thought I would come at you with a huge moving out haul. Now as you guys know, I am moving out soon, so I kind of went to Kmart and had a bit of a shopping spree. All up, I filled two of these huge pink containers and they are part of the haul as well, so let's just get straight into it. Obviously this is a moving out haul, I do need this stuff to move out, so I really won't be explaining why I chose it, I just wanted to put that disclaimer right now because I simply needed it, that is the reason. So the first thing that I chose to get was this Homemaker 1.5 litre device container. I actually got this for work and then I found another one and I ended up getting them both. But this one was on sale for $4. It's just got the divisions in there and I thought this would be really cool to put my fruits in separately because I am quite a healthy eater these days and I just thought it would be really handy. I then got two chopping boards. These are just two plastic chopping boards and I believe these were $4. I then got this really cute purple little sieve I think they're called. Now you will notice a theme. There's a lot of purple and the reason is because it came up they have four main colors. They're red, blue, purple, and gray. And I decided to go with purple because I am a girl and I do like the color purple. So I grabbed this and this was a dollar. I then got this huge container pack. This is a 14 piece food storage set. You need to be able to store food in the fridge or wherever. So I picked these up and I believe this was like $15. Now I love to bake. So I got this silicone cake base, I think they're called. I believe this was $4 and I really like the silicone ones over the metal ones just simply because then the cake just pops right out of them. To kind of go along with that, I also got the cupcake tray. I then got this mini little purple little board. I just thought this was so cute and it has the anti-slipping on the back so I really liked that. Of course I had to get a purple can opener. It's probably like a shitty one but it was only $2 so I thought I'd give it a try. I then got this lunchbox. Now this one is also for work. This is once again got all the separate little compartments everywhere. That one even has a little bottle in it. I don't know, I just thought for work that that would be incredibly handy and I believe this was like $6. Of course, I had to get a cooking book. Um, as one of my goals for 2014, I've been trying to learn how to cook because I am just a really shit cook. I have no interest in it and that's why I'm shit. I think I could be a really good cook because I'm a really good baker, but this is a five ingredients book and it's absolutely huge. So I'm going to start learning how to make these now so that when I move out, I actually have food to eat. I then got this purple throw rug. It kind of is showing up a lot darker than it is. It's like a really light, vibrant purple throw rug. And this came down to $5. I got two tea towels. I was going to get purple, but they had sold out. So I just went with green and they're kind of white, brown and green. I really like them. I think they're really cute and they were $5. I then got heaps and heaps of ice trays because they were really cute and I couldn't resist. So I got the star ones. These were all $2 a piece. I got the star ones. Also had to get the ducks and the fish and my favorite ones, which are the hearts. Of course, I had to get a brush. This is a scrubbing brush and this looks like a girl and she rests in a dress. I thought this was really cute and it was on sale for a dollar. Now this is called a silicone turner. I always call them a spatula um, and I got that and it is purple. Of course, I needed a purple wooden spoon and a purple masher. I also got these two non-stick fry pans. These are just a set of two, just simply because I'm amazing at making scrambled eggs, may I say. Yes, scrambled eggs, people say it's so easy, but it's a lot harder than people think, what can I say? So I had to grab these ones for that. I also got this um, pan rester, I guess you could say. You kind of put this on your table and put your hot pan on top so it doesn't burn anything. And I believe this was a dollar. I had to get a measuring jug because obviously I like to cook and this was $2. Of course, I had to get an ice cream scoop. Even though I'm lactose intolerant, I do spoil myself some ice cream every now and then, and this was $2. Measuring cups, because I do like to bake, as I said before, and I believe these were $2. Another scrubbing brush, just simply because this one seems a little bit more practical, and this was also $2. A big sieve, just simply because the little sieve is more for look, just simply because it's cute and it's very impractical. But this is a big sieve for my noodles, and this was down to $2, I believe. Fridge magnet clips, yay! These were on sale for a dollar and I just thought they were really cute. I do have a little collection of magnets for my fridge and I just thought I'd add these. Of course I have to have some purple tongs so I grabbed those. And a purple spoon. This was also two dollars. A purple peeler because you know if ever I feel like getting fancy and peeling carrots, 
don't count on it. I have a purple peeler to do it with and this was on sale for a dollar. And of course a whisk because I'm obviously going to be making so many cakes and cupcakes, I had to get a purple one once again, and this was a dollar. Of course, I need the oven mitts to go along with my baking. Um, so this is just like the flat one, and then I also have the mitt, and that was $5. Of course, I need a grater, because obviously I love my two-minute noodles with cheese, and this has the small grating on the bottom, and the large grating, and then this big one. It also has a case on the back to catch it all. So I thought that was really cool. And that was $2. I had to be a little bit practical and get practical ice cube trays. And these are the ones that I really like because this is like rubber on the bottom. So you can just pop them right on out. And this was $2. I then got a purple spatula for all my cooking creations and a purple knife just in case I ever decide to make a roast. I also got three metal bowls. You know, one can be serving with chips in it. The bigger one will be used for cakes and the middle one most likely for salads. And I believe these were like $6. The last thing that I got was this 20 centimeter non-stick red saucepan. I was pretty devastated that they didn't have purple, but that's okay. Once again, I just need this for cooking my noodles in. No, wait, that wasn't the last thing. I also had to get this princess sign just simply because I am a princess and I wanted this in my room when I move out. Now, simply because I had so much stuff, I also decided to get two of these bright pink storage containers. These are 60 liter storage containers and they are perfect for storing this stuff in till I move out and they were $9 each. Really sorry if I went through that incredibly fast, but I just wanted to show you because I'm really, really excited. As you can tell, I've already gone out and got all this stuff in preparation for next year when I move out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Get down to Kmart if you want some sales if you're moving out because as I said, all this stuff was like a dollar or two dollars a piece which is really cheap when you're first moving out. You don't really need the expensive stuff in my opinion when you first move out until you really figure out what you like, what you use and what you don't like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!